Alrighty, so this could be a fall Halloween type of book, but to me this could be for any type of the year, so like Season of the Witch. A spellbinding history of witches and other magical folk by Flying Eye Books. Um, by Matt Ralphs, and there's another name I've blocked off, illustrated by Nura Timurit, and, like, it is, like, it almost feels like legal size paper. Um, you get, like, a contents page, so you get different, uh, times in history, um, and across the world type of magic and you do get like um, information so you get like the history some people like people throughout that history and like different types of things connected to like magic so like Like, and, like, this is how, like, all the pages would be pretty much, like, set up. So this is talking about ancient Mes Mes Mesopotamian magic, so th 310 to 500 BCE. So, like, you get an introduction to, like, a few different things. It's not a... This is a kid's book, so you're not going to get full in-depth university textbook information. So... Lord of Ab um, Abzu. So the information isn't like being like easy reader level. Like it's not being like dumbed down, but easy enough to understand it. Um, for, but it is easy enough for kids to understand. So, like, what witches would look like. So, like, it talks about, like, the, um, the green skin, um, like, originating from the Wizard of Oz. Like, the hats, the broom. Ancient Egyptian magic, Hecate, God of Magic. So you get introductory information. So the magic, magical artifacts, the books of the dead. So like it gives you information, like a small introduction to these people, the works. Um, Greek, Circe, um, Dispelling Myths, so you got Wands, Familiars, Slavic Magic, Baba Yaga, Cauldrons and Potions, so you got a little bit of information about cauldrons and obviously potions and like the ingredients and things um, that witches would use uh, Rasputin, Norse magic, sea witches, dispelling myths, spells and incantations, medieval magic, South African magic, um, voodoo dolls and charms, Japanese magic, Yama Uba. So, like, you do get at least, like, one person, like, of that type of magic, type of time period, and, like, like something relating to that um, time period or that type of magic. So, in which trials, um, Malleus Malfaticum, or Hammer of Witches, Modern day magic, um, uh, 
and the tail and like it ends with a tail continues a silver thread. So and like it's the last page, but like it's um I'm gonna do a little bit of um, reading from this page. And now we reach the end of our tale. There's there's much more to know about magic and its users than what lies within these pages. We would need a much bigger book. But now we can understand magic's place in history. For centuries, people have tried to improve their lives by magical means, and that magic runs through our history like a silver thread. And then further down, this book is dedicated to all magic users of the past, present, and future, the witches, warlocks, and wise women, the sorcerers, Sangomas and shamans, the vulgar voodoo queens, and all magical folk who saw further and deeper than ordinary people dared to look. So, but, then like the book ends. So, Like, this is more of, like, an educational type of tool, more introductory. So, like, I could very well see, like, a lot of, like, pagan parents <laughs> using this book in one way or another. But anybody could read this, have a look at this book, if... Um, you want to teach your kids history or like different time periods or something uh this could be an interesting find so yeah season of the witch happy readings